What's up gang, it's your boy Astro and today we're going to be doing a mini booth tour of PCS collectibles here at Collector Zone Grand Opening. Alright, so let's start here. We have the Miles Morales and the Spider-Man variant. This is uh, 6 scale and this is from the game. You know, as you all know, we have Spider-Man 2 coming out this year. I think it's rumored to come out in September. I'm very excited about it. And so, uh, yeah, this is a pretty cool piece, very dynamic. And I think they did a great job on this. Um, let's start, let's, let's jump over to here. We have Rocky. Um, again, you have very simplistic base, uh, mixed media, bo uh, boxers or, or shorts. Yep. Good likeness. You can see the veins popping through his, uh, his skin. A lot of uh, texturing, a lot of um, uh, musculature. Just looks very good. Oh yeah. So let's jump over here to this table. We have the first reveal of the RoboCop. And again, this is this is a prototype. A lot of this is gonna change. It may not look the exact way um, whenever it ships. So just kind of take that with a grain of salt. We're gonna give a full review and analyze this piece in a separate video. But just wanted to kind of show that to you guys. We have the animated series Shredder here. Very, very dynamic, very cool piece. I like the pose. I like how it's simplistic. Uh, the base, everything about it is very simplistic, but very cool at the same time. And what we have here is the one six scale Ghost Rider. As you can see, as he's kind of shredding, you have the fire on his wheels, making marks in the concrete. And it just looks very cool. Looks like some translucent resin. Um, I think this piece may have a light-up feature. I'm not entirely sure. No, it doesn't. I know people were wanting light-up features, but no, okay. it doesn't have a light-up feature. I think it would look cool if it did have one um, with the translucent resin, but still very cool. You see that uh, a lot of that translucent resin here in the back. It's a very, very dope piece. Uh, it's, it's very muted in color, and the translucent resin, the reds and the oranges and the yellows, really make it really pops because there's just a lot of gray in the piece. All right, so let's move on to the Black Panther on Throne. So this piece I actually really, really like. Um, the only reason why I probably wouldn't get it is because it's so freaking big, but this piece I really like. Um, there's a lot of texture and you see the different, um, this it's piece is all black, but the textures really break it up and uh, it, it makes it so that the piece it doesn't just look all black and just one Stand next piece. to that thing, let's see how big it is. Uh, it's crazy. Yeah, it's absolutely insane. Yeah. I mean, look how big this throne is. You have the huge spear that he's holding. There's also an unmasked portrait, but I think this portrait that we have here on the statue is my favorite. Let's come around this way. We have Prince on his bike. Prince on bike. Prince on bike. Uh, I know that this was, I think, I think the first time I saw this was uh, through a con. It's a really cool piece though. Very simplistic base. I don't, I don't think that you need anything crazy going on on the base. Uh, the, uh, the statue itself speaks for itself. We have the Megatron from the animated series. I mean, I really like how this looks like it's straight out of the cartoon. Super dope piece. It's really cool. It's really, really cool. I know a few people who's collecting this line, and uh, you just kind of have to like... Uh, it looks like a cartoon, like standing right in front of you. It's ex crazy. Exactly. I think that's kind of the beauty of it. Here we have the last Ronin with his, uh, with his, his uh, deceased brothers behind him. I really love the finish of this piece. It's just really, really, really clean. Um, you know, the, the skin tone. There's, you can tell there's layers in the skin tone. Um, you have like some translucent resin that's supposed to mimic the sewers on the bottom. That's really nice. He's holding a sword, two, uh, two, one full, one broken. And I also feel like when you're talking about this piece, you really, I feel like you almost have to get the full thing. You can't just get the uh, last one himself. Yeah, for sure. I feel like you have to get the brothers as well for this to really have the, the effect that it has. Uh, we have Blanca from Street Fighter. Very dynamic. It looks very, very cool. There's some. I like the separation in the hair. You know, you have the hair on the chest. The base is very dynamic. Kind of builds the scene of, of where he's fighting. 
that's really cool. Next, next to him we have the Vampirella. I once made a video about this piece and it, it was very, very popular. I wonder why. <laughs> I wonder why. She looks gorgeous, man. She, she looks great. She's gorgeous. You have her leaning over a cauldron. You have the skulls on the on the base here. I'm a sucker for a skull. I really like that. The skin tone. I think the skin tone is not. Um, it's not. The, the the video doesn't do it any justice. It looks much much better in in person. It's very dynamic. The face sculpt is really cool. Again, here's a uh, another view of the backside here. It's really really cool piece here. So let's move on. Since we're right here, let's move on to this piece. We have the Venom third scale. I mean, this guy. Look at the size of his hand. The size of my hand. It's freaking insane. This guy's huge. He's really, really big. Um, very dynamic. I mean, you have the uh, the, uh, the the uh, symbiote, symbiote yep. that's coming off of his body. It looks like the symbiote that's coming off of his body is a little bit um, more shiny than his actual body himself, but still very cool. The piece that's next to him, the Wolverine. This piece, I believe, is probably one of my favorite Wolverine statues ever. Um, it's third scale, so that's probably why I wouldn't collect it. I'm more of I'm, I'm a quarter scale collector. But man, does he look good! I really, I love everything about this piece. When I saw it, I actually really, really wanted it, and I wish they'd done it in uh, fourth scale because uh, it's, it's just that good. Here we have Leatherface, and this is third scale. You have the sculpted body, the mixed media mask, the mixed media um, clothing on him. As you can see, he's this is a very dynamic scene. He's coming through the door to to, to bludgeon someone and do some damage. You have the door frame here. There's a lot of blood on his um, on his apron, and it just looks very cool. Next to him, we have Deadpool, third scale. This is the version where he's standing on the very tall base. There's two versions where there's a very, much smaller base for, you know, for room purposes. If you want to, um, if you don't have as, you know, as tall of a space for him. That looks like a real plush toy in there. Yes, yes, it looks very, very cool. Um, I like the texture in here. Adam uh, talked about the texture in his video. I do agree that the texture really adds another dynamic to the to the piece, and I really like that. Deja Thoris. This piece, another piece that's very popular. And I have no idea why it is. <laughs> she's, I mean, she's beautiful too, man. It she's looks great. Very, very beautiful. I mean, she's very tall, very big. It has a lot of presence. Like, if you have this in your collection, there's no way that you don't, This your eyes aren't drawn to this piece. Very beautiful. Love the skin tone. What we have here is Pumpkinhead. Um, I'm not, I don't know as much about the character, but I'm a fan of the art. This guy looks grimacing. He looks disgusting. If I saw this guy in, a, in anywhere, I would just literally probably faint. <laughs> um, there's a lot of Easter eggs here on the, on the base. I'm not familiar with what this Easter egg may be, but um, I really like it. If you look here in the, um, in the face and in the mouth, you see a lot of the, the brains in his head. You see the teeth. Um, there's a lot of separation, and a lot of detail in each tooth. I think that uh, I think that's the, you know that that should be noted here. Turning around, what we have here is a few of the wrestlers. We have Stone Cold Steve Austin here, one of my favorite wrestlers growing up. This piece is phenomenal, man. This is probably one of my favorite uh, one of my favorite pieces. How do you feel about this piece, Adam? Oh, I mean, it's crazy, man. It looks it looks like Stone Cold Steve Austin, and and it, it catches this scene. Uh, this is an iconic pose for Stone Cold, right? Well, for a lot of wrestlers in general, but yeah. especially Stone Cold. So I think it looks awesome. Absolutely. Absolutely. Let's get a shot of the back of his, his vest here. That's awesome. So next to him, we have Macho Man Randy Savage. And actually, if you don't know, we're doing a giveaway of this guy on the channel from Collector's Own Grand Opening tomorrow, or today, whenever you're watching this. This piece is really, really cool. Make sure you subscribe to my channel. Subscribe to Collector's Own YouTube channel. 
show you that you're in it to win that. If you guys want this thing, man, don't get caught sleeping on it. Macho Man Randy Savage. It's free. It's a free statue. Yeah, free's always nice. <laughs> I love free. Next to him, we have Hulk Hogan, another one of my favorites. I mean, how do you not know Hulk Hogan? This guy's, he, I mean, he's a character, man. He's beloved, he's a household name. And I think they did this piece justice. A lot of contrast with the yellow and the red. It's awesome, awesome piece. Before we jump to the other side, let's look at these turtles here, animated series. I mean, it's, it's animated, but it also has it impacts, it has a lot of detail. You see the horns here, a lot of contrast, yellow, gray, brown, red. Like Every, straight out of the cartoon, man. Straight out of the cartoon. A lot of this just pops. It just really pops. I think this one's my favorite. The, the, the purple stands out to me. The red pops out to me. You got the sneaks here. They really killed these pieces. They do, they, PCS does very, very well with the turtles. What we have behind us is the 1-6 scale Captain America. This piece, uh, I know that there was a lot of talk around this piece whenever it first came out, so um, it's good to see it in person for the first time. Next to him, we have the Magneto. And this appears to be 1-6 scale as well. And what you have is the his magnetic force. Yep. Just kind of, um, you know. Um, releasing some energy, releasing some energy creating an yeah. orb, yeah. Materializing around him. That's really cool. Michael Myers, the legend himself. You have this guy, I believe this is quarter scale. Yep. You see there's a lot of uh, detail in the shoe. There's a lot of like, like dirt and paint and just craziness on the shoe. I think that's a nice detail. The base is telling the story as you wrap around the base. I thought that's a cool touch. Mixed media on this guy. It's a cool piece, man. Really, really cool piece. So let's head over here. Again, we have Leatherface. This is third scale. I really like this piece. I mean, I don't know. I feel like if you're a horror collector and you're into third scale, this is this is one of those pieces where they just get it right. You know, they just really, really get it right. The base. You have. It seems like he's almost in a desert. You have blood on the chainsaw. Mixed media looks dirty. His, his clothes look really dirty. You can see there's a, there's a blood blood splatter, a blood stain on his knee. If you look through the hole, you can see that there's blood on his actual body as well. That's, that's a nice touch. Barbed wire behind him, that's cool. So what we have here is Evil Dead. This guy looks insane. Looks like he lost it a long time ago. <laughs> Um, what we have here is a scene where he looks like he appears to be in an abandoned house. Um, looks like he has some damage. He's been going through a lot today. If you look down in his body, it looks like he's been scratched and clawed at. Looks it's like crazy. Look at that. It looks like real. It looks like he barely escaped. This is the funny part. This is probably the best part of the statue here. Crazy. Looks like he's uh, fighting off a zombie here. Crazy. We also have a severed hand next to that. That's pretty funny. And then here we have... Um, looks like a book with a face on it again. Um, I'm not familiar with the story, so my apologies. Uh, and I think that does it for PCS, man. I think that's the last piece for PCS. Thank you for watching this mini booth tour. And until next time, see you next one. Peace.